course I said that. So in the last video I made, I was praising the app Pop Clip for their amazing new update that made snippets for Pop Clip as easy as possible to create. I mean, we're talking about changing from providing a playlist and a bunch of code and stuff to now just three or four lines of text, readable text, text that says to do a thing and it does it. And I wanted to play around with it. I promised you that there were gonna be more videos about it and finally I'm here. Um, I've been working on a bunch of different snippets, some simple, some not so simple. And I've got a nice little bundle here for you. Three pop clip snippets that all operate around one application or automation, I guess and that's Brett Terpstra's search link. Now I'm gonna have to explain a lot of different things here. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna make sure that I have podcast chapters enabled. If you are pretty familiar with search link, if you have a good understanding of how to do shell scripting, then go right ahead and use those podcast chapters to get to the meat and potatoes. Also in the description below, there will be a link to the forum post where I have all of these uh, snippets on the pop clip forum. So if you don't really care how I made it and you just want to download it and use it for yourself, go ahead and click that link there. But if you do like this video, please sure to remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like it and give it a thumbs up. But let's start off by explaining first and foremost what search link is. So I have some links here, some markdown links, and you notice they have these goofy formats on them with the start or the exclamation point G. Don't worry too much about that. This We're not going to use this setup in what we're doing, but if I hit my hyper key and L, it's gonna activate search link. Search link is going to look at each of those and it's gonna give me a Google search and first result. See, there we go. And then later on, if I want, I can preview this. If I click on one, it's gonna open up those links, right? Perfect. So that, that's what we want. This is this is general markdown writing. So if I can, I could be writing a bunch of stuff out and have um, all those links embedded and then hit a button and it's gonna go and it's gonna search for most of those links for me so I don't have to. Now, the other side of that is when you have just a single file or a single line like this and you select it and you activate search link. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna recognize it doesn't have any of that special program stuff on it and it's just going to provide a search for whatever I've highlighted and that's what we're going to take advantage of um, this feature is a part of search link as well but Brett kind of gave us a shortcut on how to use it and if we go here to search link again if you don't have search link installed yet you're gonna to want to do that but here he actually created a bonus for launch bar users that allows you to run um, effectively the search link workflow from the command line. And that's what that line does there. Um, I actually have a terminal up. I'm going to bring it up here. Let's clear that stuff out to clean it up. And if we go, actually all of this will work. I just need to get rid of this stuff here. If I just get rid of that and I run this HomePod minis colors, um, we're going to get some type of site that's talking about the HomePod mini colors. Boom, perfect, HomePod mini, something from Forbes. Um, colors suddenly available for the first time with the price drop, sweet. Um, that's, I mean, that's what we want, but we wanna be able to work with this from Pop Clip. And this is where those Pop Clip actions work. And by the way, the way that this works before is, you see it has these parentheses. This second portion of the script, this pipe, awk and then a bunch of code here what that's doing is that's just grabbing this part and nothing else um, and we can show that if we click on it what we should get is boom just that you notice you don't have the extra little parentheses there so what we're going to do is we're going to take this command and we're gonna put it into pop clip and we're gonna replace this with the pop clip copied text. So over here, we have the three different commands from 
pop clip. And I'm gonna show you using this text what it's doing. So if we go to, first let me make sure I close out Safari. That way you know I'm not cheating. You can have Safari open and it'll run perfectly fine. It's This is just for me to make sure that you know new stuff is popping up and nothing behind the scenes is happening. So the first one is search link copy. And that does very specifically what we were doing over in the terminal. If you can see this Apple script command here says do the shell script and then something that looks very similar to what we had before in the terminal. Uh, the only difference here is again, when I said we were gonna replace the actual text that we're searching for, we're gonna replace it with this, um, the escaped quotations and then the open bracket pop clip text close bracket. And that's gonna tell pop clip to just insert whatever the text, the selected text is, and then it's gonna run. From there, it's gonna do that same awk thing. And we add a second pipe to this. Anytime you'd run a pipe, what it's basically saying is, do whatever is happening in the first part, then whatever the results of that are, pass that into the next part. So we have a second pipe, so it's gonna take the results of this and we're gonna run PB copy. PB copy just puts it into the pasteboard or you know what we know is the clipboard. So we're saying, grab the text, run search link with it, filter out all the stuff we don't need, and then copy it to the clipboard. So when we do that, we're gonna test it on this. We're gonna run it. I have it as search C, which is the magnifying glass and C. We hit that button, it's gonna spin a little bit. And it doesn't look like anything happened, but if I come down here and I hit paste, we see conduit on relay FM in markdown format. Now, the next one is very similar to this. In fact, it's everything exactly the same. The only difference is here, we can only run this in areas where we're allowed to actually paste. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna overwrite the existing text. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna duplicate this just so we know that it worked. I'm gonna grab this and activate pop clip. We're gonna do search P which is the paste. It's gonna do the little spinny thing again. Boom, and it replaced it on its own, so we didn't have to, to do anything there. And lastly, this one's a little different. Everything so far has been basically you run that script, you copy it to the pasteboard, and then you go about your business. Here we're actually doing one extra, we're doing one other thing. Instead of getting the, the line, the entire line, which is this whole markdown field here, we're gonna just get the URL. I found this is the grep um, command to take input and just grab a single URL from it. So what we're gonna do is instead of just running the automator, we're gonna tell it to open the results of whatever the automator finds in search link. Then you're gonna grep those results and get just the URL then you're gonna open it using whatever the default application is for us at Safari. So, and this is gonna be in search O. So if we take this again, conduit on relay FM, I'll pull this up just so you see I don't have a browser open or anything like that. Conduit on relay FM, right? We activate pop clip, we do search O for search link open, we click on it, it's doing the little spinny wheel again, and then what should happen is a browser will open, relay.fm conduit. So from there, we can actually use that as kind of a am I feeling lucky type search um, without having to have a URL, without having to click a link. You can just say, grab this text, give me whatever the first response of this text is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll take advantage of this, uh, these snippets. And if you do, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, again, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you're not yet. I'll go ahead and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, I don't know, go search things with Pop Clip or something. <laughs>